This is a cheat code if I ever seen one. Team, keep it clean. Make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn your notifications on because you do not want to miss this and other videos like it. Let's get straight into it. As we know, the Baltimore Ravens, their big offseason acquisition was Derrick Henry. There were actually rumors last season, during the season, at the trade deadline that they were trying to trade for Derrick Henry, but it ended up falling apart for whatever reasons. But the Baltimore Ravens say, you know what? Trying to get him was so nice, we're going to do it twice. So they circle back around. And mission accomplished They got Derrick Henry So we've of course already talked about how good Derrick Henry could be with the Baltimore Ravens, especially when literally everybody around him is a weapon too. So we don't need to run that back, but something from an article that came out today that made me think, oh my goodness, like he was already going to be a cheat code with the Baltimore Ravens offense, but this makes it that much better. I've talked about Lamar Jackson, Zay Flowers, Rashad Bateman, Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely. We've talked about potentially Tez Walker, Nelson Aguilar, We've talked about these other guys that are options uh, as weapons in the Baltimore Ravens offense. So they take a lot of pressure off of Derrick Henry. But somebody that we have not talked about enough that makes life for Derrick Henry that much easier is the person that's going to be leading the way. That's going to be blocking for him. That being Pat Ricard. And another article from the Baltimore Ravens. Shout out to them, by the way, from Matt Ryan from the Baltimore Ravens. Not that Matt Ryan, but our Matt Ryan. This article is entitled... Pat Ricard is relishing the opportunity to block for Derrick Henry. And just from that title alone, it's like, oh, man, like we thought about everybody around Derrick Henry. But what about the person literally right in front of him leading the way? Like Derrick Henry is literally like the size of an offensive lineman. So imagine if you got a defensive tackle leading the way for an offensive lineman and they both can move. They both can move. So that, that is scary right there. But let's look at what the article had to say. We're not going to read the whole thing, but we're just going to read pieces of it. It says, as the offseason rumors swirled that Derrick Henry could become a Raven, Pat Ricard tempered his expectations. One of the premier running backs since he entered the league, Henry was a free agent for the first time, and Ricard knew there would be a ton of suitors. So when he found out on Twitter, I'm not saying X, when he found out on Twitter that Derrick Henry was coming to Baltimore, it was pure euphoria for Ricard. Not the Kendrick Lamar euphoria, but... Anyway, and not just in the you for you know, team, keep it clean. Anyway, it's a dream come true for anyone that has to block in a run game. Ricard, who was a four time Pro Bowler, said, You, you blocking for Derrick Henry now? <laughs> just put him in a Pro Bowl already, even though we got other plans. But continuing, it says, I've been admiring him ever since he's been in the league. Just the things he can do is so unique, so special. He's just a freak of a person. He certainly is. And now, when you envision. Him having a Pat Ricard, because he don't have some fullbacks before, obviously, but he ain't had no Pat Ricard. So, ooh, that, that just makes it that much more lovely. Back to the article, though. It said, he's one of those guys that you never think that you can obtain because everyone is going to want him. It's Derrick Henry. Eric DaCosta did his magic and got him here. He certainly did, because he is a Baltimore Raven, and we're looking forward to it. Now, that wasn't the only thing that makes this so glitchy. For the Baltimore Ravens offense. And I'll let y'all finish that article at another time. But something that PFF brought out. And I was like, ooh, that's that's just another element to Derrick Henry's game. And that could be added to this Baltimore Ravens offense. That makes them that much more scary. It was this. It says, since 2022, the most games with 100 plus scrimmage yards. Now, I know you think it like, not rushing yards, scrimmage yards. Scrimmage yards is the total amount of yards rushing, receiving, all of it put together. And you know what? Let's bring up this list so you can see everybody that's on here, including the newest Baltimore Raven, Mr. Derrick Henry. So, number one, Christian McCaffrey. Like, who else would you expect to be a number one other than C-Mac, like run CMC, whatever you want to call him, the, the new highest paid running back in the league? Yeah, I get that because he's a running back, he's a receiver. He does, Anyway, he's number one. But at number two, so CMC at, at number one with 23 games with 100 plus scrimmage yards since 2022. But number two, we got good old Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry is that number two. Like, and, and you look at the people behind him, you would think, oh, no, those people would definitely be in front of Derrick Henry. Nope. Not since 2022, my friend, because guys like Tyreek Hill with less than Derrick Henry, Justin Jefferson with less than Derrick Henry, CeeDee Lamb with less than Derrick Henry, and newly paid Amber St. Brown with less than Derrick Henry. So that says a lot about Derrick Henry, not just his ability to run the ball, 
but his ability to be a high level impact player for the Baltimore Ravens. And that's something that we're looking forward to, because when you look at this list, Literally every single one of these players is a high impact player for their team. They make plays all the time. That's why all of these guys, well, CeeDee Lamb is on the way, but all of these guys have gotten paid. And CeeDee Lamb is getting ready to very, very soon. So with Derrick Henry being number two on that list, that can't do nothing but make you smile. But something else that can really make you smile is hearing a word from our sponsor. So I know you noticed during this video, I don't have on any Ravens gear. Why? Because I'm wearing one of my nice shirts from Cuts Clothing. You know how in football they say when you look good, you play good, and you feel good? Well, it's the same exact way when you're getting dressed. Not only has Cuts Clothing completely changed the t-shirt game, but they have so many other simple yet sophisticated items. Cuts t-shirts like these are so high quality that even when you're dressing down, it'll look like you're dressing up. See, there's a reason why Cuts Clothing is a trusted brand of professional athletes. If you ever watch players from your favorite football basketball team coming to the arena there's a high chance that you saw them in some cuts clothing and the best part about cuts is that it's built to last there are a lot of places where you can go and you can get a nice looking shirt but once you wash it even if you dry clean it it's done that's a wrap but with cuts clothing you don't have to worry about that so i know you're wondering how can you get your own set of cuts clothing well to help you embrace that summer state of mind with cuts for a limited time our listeners get 20 percent off the entire order from cuts when you use code engraving at checkout that's 20 percent off your entire order at cutsclothing.com when you use promo code engraving please show some love to the show and let them know that we sent you so you can experience the perfect blend of style and comfort with cuts clothing now i know as ravens fans especially the way that these past three four five six seasons have ended we want to sort of temper our expectations when it comes to certain things with this team but i'm gonna let you know right now i ain't tempering nothing especially if everything goes as planned i know some things will come in and knock your plans out the way but these baltimore ravens this year they on a mission and somebody who didn't think that they would be on this mission with the Baltimore Ravens. And somebody who a lot of us didn't think would be here with the team is none other than Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman has continued to say it himself. Like, he thought that he was going to get traded just as much as a lot of us thought he was going to get traded. But the Baltimore Ravens, they signed him to that super, extremely team-friendly deal. And he is going to stay with the team for the next couple of years. So that's a good thing, especially if they can get that sort of potential that Rashad Bateman has shown they can get those flashes out of him but we're not here to talk about that because we already talked about that a lot this offseason Rashad Bateman he's somebody that ever since he got his deal he's been chirping Rashad Bateman been letting it be known how he feels toward a lot of people that had to have have had a lot to say about him uh over the years but especially recently we remember when he put up that Drake video talking about the tweeters and the leaders and whatnot but Rashad Bateman he put up a picture of himself a couple of pictures of himself but the caption reads well let's just pull it up it says he say she say I'm still here. And then, of course, uh, he put up a, a finger that's pointing up because he's letting you know to shut up. I'm just going to change what was really there. But anyway, that's a Team Keep It Clean version. So we're Rashad Bateman. Like, look, look, Ravens fans, they don't forget. They don't forget. So Rashad Bateman, while we are all glad that Rashad Bateman got his deal, while we all happy that Rashad Bateman is a part of the Baltimore Ravens, Rashad, baby, if you talk big, you talk this cash, baby. You, 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 you got to make it happen for sure. You got to show up and show out. And I know not everything is on you, of course. There's a lot that where it's Lamar Jackson's responsibility to get you the ball. It's Todd Munkin's responsibility to get you involved. But then when that ball comes your way, it's your responsibility to make the play happen. So it's not just all on him, obviously. It's, it's, football is the ultimate team sport. But with Rashad Bateman, he, he been talking a lot. So ever since he got that check, ever since he signed the dotted line, and that's cool, that's cool. But as long as you back it up, because, again, Ravens fans, they do not forget nothing.